Hello everybody and welcome to Half-Life 2. We finished Half-Life 1 just a little bit ago before Christmas and we are now back for Half-Life 2 with Never Named, of course. Uh, really I enjoyed. You were gonna, I thought you were going to do the intro and then we were going to like introduce ourselves after the, after the opening cinematic because it would have been dramatic that way, but go on, I guess. It's fine, it's fine. Anyways, yeah, I really enjoyed Half-Life 1. It's it's a game that actually holds up quite well, um, like gameplay and story-wise. It's just got obviously a few tropes of the na early uh 1990s game development sort of thing where it's just eh, there's a bit thing there's a few things that are a bit iffy and unclear but it was otherwise a very enjoyable game um so obviously i haven't played half-life 2 so we're playing that i will say i know a lot more about half-life 2 than i do about half-life 1 but i still don't actually know the plot of the story i've seen quite a few speedruns of this game so i kind of know how it ends but not really, because I have no context for what's happening or why. And speedruns tend to skip major parts of every mission, so I've only seen bits of the game. Anyways, we're going to jump in. We're already set up for the first cutscene, so me yeah. and Never Named are going to shut up for a bit and let this play out. Yeah, okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, that's very, very quiet. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't, sure. he wasn't sure on the audio. Oh, what did you think it was going to be at when you set it to, like, the lowest that level? Was, that, was the, that was the default. That was what it was already at. Demon, rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well... Let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Goddamn G-Man. Welcome to the train. I remember this bit. I played this bit. I didn't see you get on. You can interact with, no uh, I believe it's me. Located, I never get used to it. This is my third transfer this year. So yes, if you remember uh, Half-Life 1, that also started on a train. Yes. Yeah, it did. Well, but it's a very different train. It's more of like a monorail sort of thing. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish ah. my administration here. In the Photo opportunity. <laughs> I've been right, proud to call you. City 17 my home. Are you the only ones on that train? And so, whether you are here to stay or... Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and to took my husband home. for questioning. Welcome. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, though, letting me wait for him. Okay. <laughs> oh, how do you feel about the world you've found yourself in? It seems very, uh, disturbian. It doesn't seem good. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Oh, damn. <laughs> so are we all on, like, work release to, like, a facility or something? Oh, um... You'll learn... You'll discover more about the world as you go past. One thing about Half-Life 2 is that it has very good ambient storytelling. My administration here. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm already and noticing. And physics. I'm already noticing already that the world feels a lot more real and alive than Half Life 1 did. And so, whether you are here to stay or pass in your Yeah, because you can afford to have something more complex yeah. in this engine. Oh, shit. With little turret sort of things are kind of back. That's a camera. It looks like a turret. I'm sure one of those will be weaponized later on. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, one thing about Half-Life 2 is I've recognized basically all of the people and assets from it from playing Gary's Mod and, like, watching um, watching Gary's Mod films on YouTube. You don't know any of the context. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. Gotta love that noise. What the hell's going on here? About that beer I owe Oh. You. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? Oh, it's the, the doctor dude. Critical test. Sorry, doctor. Yes, Look Kleiner. Great Scott. Gordon Freeman. More warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around thinking here. here. I'm thinking here. So yeah, this first episode for people watching, of course, anyone that's played Half-Life will know, but it's going to be a lot of story and a lot of waiting around. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be, by necessity, more quiet so that Turtle can actually hear them talk. Yeah. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. On this box. Pile up some stuff. This book is more like a box. Keep going till you're in the plaza. It's a little box. A book is later. just a box of information. Yeah. So Half-Life Two is very physics-based yes. because the way Valve treats their games is that they they push the boundaries. Half-Life One was pushing the boundaries on what you could do with games at the time. Half-Life 2 is pushing the boundaries with regards to physics. Yeah, I like it a lot. Makes the game, I gotta say, it just makes the world feel a lot more interactable and yeah, I alive. Mean, I, you walk into a room and you just start like banging the lamp on the table like a petulant <laughs> child. It's amazing. The, the loading screens could take a little screens. bit. Yeah. But it's it's still more seamless than a lot of games. There's no yeah, fade yeah. to black or anything. That is nice, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was good. I like that. Thank you for writing. Yeah, the Metro Cops are dicks. Oh yeah, I know. You can tell just by that voice that they're going to be evil. And all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. Give me a can. I also pick up that pick up that can as one of my favorite memes to come out of the uh, Half-Life series. <laughs> oh damn. This is cra it's ca kind of I can imagine how crazy this was compared to Half-Life 1 when people played it for the first time. God damn. Yeah, like it's so much more today. Grand. It's today. It's like it's it is slightly dated, but it holds up. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right, I want to look around just a little bit. Uh, have I got a choice of where to go here? There's only one way, but you can look around to find it. You're not on any sort of time limit. I think it's this way here. I'm guessing. I'm liking this sort of like design where it's like old buildings with sci-fi attached. The uh, Half-Life 2 seems to be set, uh, I, I could be wrong, but I think it's set somewhere in like Eastern Europe. Okay, apparently it's not this way. So a lot of the buildings are informed by a lot of that old Soviet architecture. Yeah, it works really well. And you'll also see a lot of the Cyrillic alphabet. Oh. Oh, hello. That was close. Mm -hmm. he, kind of, he tried to hit me. Yeah. Oh, you might want to turn around. There's something going on down the end of that alleyway. The, the one you were just in. I think you've missed it by now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it went past. What was it? There's something that you can see at the end of that street if you were looking. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you'll meet them again later. It's just a bit of foreshadowing.
Was it just like G-Man doing his thing or something? Oh, hello. People aren't nice around here. This is how it always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Oh, damn. Yes! <laughs> I was hoping you'd be so, able to play with it. If you couldn't tell, this takes place some time after the events of Half-Life Yeah. 1. If you remember what happened in Half-Life 1, there was an experiment that went wrong and all of a sudden alien creatures just started flooding the Earth. Gordon goes to Zen, kills the thing coordinating the alien creatures, and then gets hired by G-Man. For unknown purposes. And, and now G-Man's putting now, back. Yeah, now G-Man is, is taking... Reaping what's so sort of thing. Taking what he yeah. thinks he deserves. Putting his back in action. So, I know, I know for a fact that there's uh, still the aliens in this game, so... I'm interested to find out how they come back. Why are you taking the baby with you? I don't know, why not? Doing baby skip. See, I, this game has been broken so many times, baby skip could be a legit thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, I thought you were a cop. No? one of us. That's the baby gun. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. This is once I hope you're wrong. It's in the middle of the floor right in front of you. <laughs> also, you can break the windows if you throw something at them. Oh, goodbye, baby. <laughs> it's, I don't know why you chose to throw the baby out the window rather than, like... No more. No more. Rather than, like, I don't know, a pot... Take it anymore. Oh, it's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? Get out of here. When is it all going to end? Something I do, like, compulsively when I play through this section is throw everything in the apartments under the street. <laughs> Get out of here. Ruin the people's lives. <laughs> oh, then. I wish. They found oh, you. Oh, shit. Ooh, I like this. this section's great. Get in here quick. Keep moving. Head for Feels like the last of us. You and your Last of Us, you're such well, a... Because The Last of Us is like the best game I've ever played. Every time you say that, it makes me respect you less. Uh, it's such a good game. <laughs> even even I, I don't... I don't really care that you like it, but it's fun to like piss on because you're so emotionally <laughs> attached to it. Ooh, this is really cool. I like it a lot. Pigeons! Isn't there like, is, uh, is it this game that's got the purple hat? No, that's the Black Mesa uh, ah, remake yeah. of the original, ah, the fan yeah. remake. I, I remember watching I did that. someone do that, yeah. I did that purple hat in the original, uh, not in the original, in the uh, Black Mesa remake. Ow, fuck. You've been, I've been shot. What? Yeah, I, I did the purple hat and you may say that I'm a, a real gamer. <laughs> it's such a cool little thing to add to it, oh my God. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh, what the fuck? I'm guessing I'm trapped here. No, you don't. Oh, it's the woman. It's the woman. It's the woman! I, I can't remember her name, but it's the woman. Hey, Alex, or whatever her name is. Dr. Freeman, is it Alex? I presume. What's her name? Her name is Alex. Okay, good. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Oh my god. What did you do? Oh fuck! <laughs> Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way as you throw yourself out a window. 
Oh, uh, F's uh, quick save keys are the same as the before, I believe. Yes, they are, yeah. Yeah. If, if you're going to pull more stunts like that, it might be worth quick saving after. Yeah, I just kind of forgot that, like, I could quick save. three and stories up. And also, I kind of forgot that, um... You were three stories up. Yeah, that would that, kill me. The, the fact that you've survived to adulthood astonishes me every day. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, I presume. <laughs> yes, Alex, we've been through this before. I better hurry. God damn. Just, just the fact, like, obviously, Half-Life 1's a much older game, but the facial animations and the an like animations in general just make the world feel so much better. Better than triangle mouths. Yeah. So much better for storytelling, like... Half-Life 1 is kind of difficult to tell a proper story because nothing looks real. Back in the day, probably it was probably fine, but... Man, a few words, aren't you? Yes. Not in real life, he never shuts up. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. Look at my dad started on Dr. Green. Through here. My lord, you are such a child. Bring in the barrel with me. Why is she walking like that? What, backwards to yeah. face you? Weird. Funny, you showing up on this day in particular. <gasps> Wizard! It's been a long-running thing that I, I maintain that Alex Vance is like a Cthulian entity. <laughs> Lovecraftian, even. Foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Oh, we get to ride the little boat things as well. Here, let me buy you a drink. You already bought a drink earlier. God, I have to pay. Oh, and by the way, <gasps> nice what to the hell? meet you. Hidden door in a vending machine is the <laughs> most fascinating thing he's seen all day. <laughs> Where did she get to? Oh, that's some funky there. looking liquid. Uh -oh, that's the goo tubes. Oh, you never seen the goo tubes? I haven't. Uh, you don't have right. those? To be fair, I have seen this cutscene before, but I remember nothing from it because in the cutscene it's unskimmable. <laughs> or at least it was when I last watched it. It really is you, isn't it? It is. Him wandering around outside. You can tell by the way he's but insisting on climbing on everything. We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune eh. time. Man, Alex you. has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this mm, thing works, creepy. okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Come in, Gordon. What up, fella? Stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. Yeah. He's coming with me. I've That's never seen right anyone get up on that lamp. This is a red letter day. <laughs> we'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Ah, shit. Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's oh, the cat! Nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides <laughs> since then. The cat. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's I know about the cat. The streets, you might as well get him out of his cities. What? Oh dear, you're right. Because isn't that the one that's got like the really Barney? fucked up textures I'll hidden in the game Barney. files? Uh, I've got to get I don't know what ship, cat. But okay. Oh uh, well. Anyways, they keep they keep referring to this cat throughout the game, don't I, they? I know I know the joke cat. Yeah. They only but refer to it like in now. in like an early version of the game that that like got like. The files got pulled eventually, but people that still have it. Oh my god, the head crab here still. Oh god. Um. Oh, he's a pet. <laughs> um. But yes, there's someone found like in the game files. There is an actual like fucking Lovecraftian looking cat thing. Get that thing away from me. Oh. my pet. Up up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are Lamar. <laughs> oh, fie. Oh. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. Ugh. 
Also, the Half-Life 2 is at the point in like the text development of textures where they're not great. You look close enough, you can still see the pixels, but um, they're, they're, they're very they're, good. They're high quality enough that yeah. you can they can hide like secrets. So a lot of the textures have hidden detail. I gotta say they are, they are actually quite like like stuff like this works because you can see the pixels, but it makes it just look like the wall has texture. Like, if you look at like the uh, bulletin board over on that wall, you can like read some of the stuff and see what's been going on. Oh dear, Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. So in Half-Life Alex, do you play as Alex? Yes, you do. Okay. I've modified your suit to draw power from Find the more watermelons for Lamar. That's a bit racist. Wherever they patrol. She's a head crab. <laughs> head crabs eat Lamar? watermelon. Uh, head. She's named after Hedy Lamar, who was an actress. Oh. I learned the other yeah, day. A, do you know Bur Do you know Burba tea? I've never had it myself. I'm not. I don't really care. Also, tea, there's but. a charging port on the wall, wall over there. Oh, there. You coming? Yep. No, behind it. Wait, what? Behind, behind oh. it. Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I learned so, that Burba tea is named after um uh like a Asian actress's boobs. Gordon, why don't you position oh. yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold around the top. Here, is it? It's very, very sad. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. So, Half-Life 2 did what it could to take the generic character models from Half-Life 1 and turn them into actual characters. So, Kleiner is a is generic white scientist one with personality. Mm. Eli is generic black scientist with personality, and Barney is generic security guard with personality. <laughs> That's good, that. Right there, Gordon. Oh. Physics. I see. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing. You gonna watch or? <laughs> Maybe, I guess. Is she gonna teleport? <laughs> okay. Is she gonna die? No, she's not gonna die. I know that. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. <laughs> Plugged one thing in, flicked one switch. Right you are. Speak to Thank you. You see that MIT education really pays for itself. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. Oh, there you go. There you go. I know, I'll, I know most of the lines. As soon as you're in position, I'll send you to Eli. I'm Not terrible. I, I steal jokes from the games. <laughs> You've never done that. Never. Initializing. In you three, just steal from two, weird TV British shows. TV shows. One. I do. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Hell, what is it? It's your pet the freaking head humper! Wee! Oh, Lamar. Is there a crow in here? Oh, what the hell? What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Gordon, well, there he is. Oh, we're losing him again. The man. I'm all but certain it was. 
Gordon Freeman. This is oh my lord, this is strange. Oh, the gravity is all weird. Ooh. Yeah, so that went awry. Yeah, I teleported like You'll a few feet out of the wall. You'll have to make your way to Eli's lab on foot. Okay, doke. So, if you remember, I told you about Blue Shift when we were playing Half Life 1. Yeah. Blue Shift is the story of how Barney got out of Black Mesa. Oh. Am I meant to know how to break this? Am I meant Just to look break around. it? Is there a, oh, there's a crowbar about it? It's gotta be, hasn't it? Hey, Gordon. Oh, hello. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Yeah. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. So yes, back in the saddle. Holes. We can finally uh, talk because the main part of the in uh, initial story is through. So that's the introduction to the game. And here's where you first see action. Ow. Shoot me. Oh, people die. I'm definitely not here. What difficulty are you playing on? Normal. It was, a, it, was on the, it was on the easy to start with, but I thought, nah. Am I gonna hop on this? No, no. Fucking it, you're meant go to... away. Yeah, it shares. It's a bit dodged. It's, that thing is better at dodging damage than you. What? You know, if you had a combine uh, city scanner AI, you'd be way better at games. <laughs> oh, also, why do you insist on just carrying <laughs> random objects with you? Because you can. <laughs> it's funny. Fair enough. You know, you'll be the lamp knight. You'll joust them. Uh, on the wall. So those replace the health things from Black Mesa. How dare you get in the way of my lamp while grieving your dying friend. <laughs> the lamp's my friend. So the oh, pistol is... Yeah, the pistol's a pretty weak weapon. But it's decent for dispatching these guys. Yeah, they seem pretty weak. They're armor. It's kind of, kind of trash. I mean, have you ever been hit bells, three times? I wonder, I wonder maybe the uh, label could tell. <laughs> if you were to read the label. Even without the label, I know it's explosive. Because I've just seen them in other things too much. Am I going the right way here? It feels like I'm not. What, straight towards the oncoming train? No! <laughs> Lamp! No! Yeah, you can do some really funky physics shit, uh, just because of the way the engine is. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Do I see? Okay, no, I do. Do you see? I do see. Do you, do you see I the way? That, I the thought there'd be a ladder at the back of that propane, uh, one. Oh, fuck. It's that lamp. 
the lamp is screwing you. No, it's not. The lamp is the best. If the lamp has fallen on the floor, I will go down and get it. It has. Whoa! Caught it. <laughs> Remember how I said there was funky physics <laughs> shit? I don't know where the lamp's gone. The lamp... Hopefully it's... Hopefully it's out of the map. I hope it fell through the fucking floor. Let's we'll find out, shall we? It seems to... Oh no, there it is. God damn it. Of all the objects you could choose to pointlessly hoard, you pick one of the most, like, unwieldy. <laughs> and inconvenient. The lab just took a bullet. Get on, you little shit. So, that box, there. What about it? In Half-Life 1, any box could, like, have shit in it, but in Half-Life 2, they are clearly marked as those supply caches. Ah, okay. So, regular boxes have nothing in them, so don't waste your time with them unless you have to, but uh, supply caches will have supplies. Nice. Also, if you, uh, that voice you keep hearing is called the Overwatch voice. Ooh, okay. Because, uh, these... Uh, and if you notice when you kill them, you can hear it say, a unit deserviced. Oh, all right. Which is a very grim, uh, very grim way of saying that they're dead. God, yeah. I can see this going about as well as the fucking Hindenburg. Flashlight with F. Get the fuck off You can me. actually hear a lot of interesting stuff over the Overwatch voice. Yeah, I can imagine so. I imagine there's a lot of, like, hidden stuff in there. Yeah. Like, I am still learning to this day about all the weird niche details that, for some reason, they added. God damn it! I was really hoping you wouldn't be able to get the lamp through. <laughs> uh, so in this me. in this one, you can't have the flashlight on uh, forever. You have something called auxiliary power. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know about that. And it, it ticks down when the flashlight is on. That was close. <laughs> if only. If only you could get hit by a train and... That could have killed you. Yeah, it really could have done. <laughs> Flying physics objects do deal damage in Half-Life if they're going fast enough, so that genuinely probably could have dealt you a blow. I'm liking the UI for reloading. Yep, what? like that. <laughs> like that. That lamp is... a nightmare. What the fuck? Put, put it... put it down. Leave it. No. It's caused enough trouble. It's like the purple hat. I've got to take it. <laughs> you make me sad, British man. You make me sad. So yes, much of the same from Half-Life 1 reappears in a new form, like health health kits, the suit power, etc. Yeah. Just with a nice new coat of paint, uh, supply cache is behind you. Finally! <laughs> Finally! No! Fuck you! Oh, wait, no. Whoa!
Whoa! <laughs> Would you put that cursed thing away? Never! I will never forget you, Lamb. If I, <laughs> wherever you are. I am thoroughly enjoying the bizarre physics glitches that this game causes. I've never, like, I've played this game so many times, I've never experienced this many glitches in the first few minutes, <laughs> and I think it's, it's purely because of that fucking lamp. How do I get up there again? Oh, there's a lot of things. I was trying to do it a complicated way. Good God. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? So, are these guys good now? You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. What the fuck? Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. If you remember from Half-Life 1, the Vortigaunts were slaves to the Nihilanth. Oh, so now they're appreciative of us releasing them. Really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We save the The Vortigaunt... Better get going. Every time that lamp... It's an, an abusive relationship. The lamp keeps abusing you, but you always come back. I do. But yes, in Half-Life 1, the Vortigaunts were slaves, unwilling combatants. They didn't want to be fighting you, but they had to, basically. Yeah. So now, in Half-Life 2, after the Nihilanth was killed and they're no longer enslaved, those left behind on Earth have just sort of become a part of the population. God f <laughs> This is the man who cheats on dead cells because he thinks it'll make better content but won't leave the fucking lamp behind. A lamp is my best friend. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, that was amazing. Yummy. So, was there... I'm guessing I'll find this out, but was it that there's more aliens have come, or just the ones that were left behind are left? Hey, over here. Help. Oh, so, during Half-Life 1, all these weird critters came to Earth. Uh, head crabs, barnacles, what have you. And... The ones that came bred, because that's a thing that animals do. Yeah. So, you're probably not... Uh, like, it, it wouldn't be correct to say that these are the ones that came through in Half-Life 1, but it would be correct to say that it's the, like, the species that came through in Half-Life 1. Descendants, basically. Yeah. Because the events of... Half-Life 1, those portals randomly opening, didn't just affect the Black Mesa compound, but the whole world. Oh, of course, yeah. For some reason I was thinking it was, like, part of just Black Mesa, but it wasn't, was it? This is going to be bad. Where am I? I can do Station this. Station 8, are you there? We have confirmed what? reports of man hacks. Repeat, they're man filling hacks. the underground with man hacks. Leave the lamp. Never. Oh my god. I've taken it this far. This, this video, isn't it? Praise be the holy lamp. So, gun turret. Yeah, those things would just dive bomb you. Ha, ha, 
That's the game's way of telling you that you don't get to play with the turret anymore. Where am I going now? I don't understand. Look around. Oh. Yeah, it, I, I, this may be a foreign concept, but if you want to know where to go next in a game, the first thing you should try is your eyes. <laughs> no! No! Get off it, you damn beast! What I've been telling you to do. Ah. So everything's been upped. Barnacles are fancy looking now. They are. Over here. Hello. And, of course, since it's a game you can afford a larger file size, they were actually able to, like, add more dialogue lines. Yeah. So, even those minor characters can say and do unique <clears throat> things. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Just sink. Ah, I, I see. How do I get up there exactly? Really... Swim. How? I'm meant to be able to just climb up there. Well, first, throw the lamp in there first. Fucking then... stop shooting me, you fat cocks! Oh, there you go. Just, just let me jump. Jump up! How do I get up the ledge? Jumping! <laughs> <laughs> Foreign concept. I love the barrels. I love the ragdoll physics. Yeah. Well, You'll be ragdolling in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you to death with a lamp. I like the way they do the fucking, like, um, like the heartbeat stop sound when you kill them. I would point out that you've uh, missed some supply crates, but I know you don't care. Yeah, I'm not like you. Oh, listen to those sloppy foot sounds. I know, they're so gross. Right, am I trying to like make a staircase up to this? No, so. no. You just walked part. You like walked up to where you were meant to go, and then turned around and came back. Well, I'm gonna do this instead. I've never done this, so I don't actually know what's up there. Ugh. Gloopy shloopy. Game? Why? Because that's how fucking physics works. If you put things on an angle, they'll fall over. Have you never played Jenga? I might need one more box, actually. I think you can make it up that. Nope. Nope. You can't pick up a whole dumpster. <laughs> I had to try, though. I'm gonna say it before I do this in case I lose my land. You suck. God damn it, the physics just make everything bounce all over the place. You are a physics object. If you ram into a barrel or like a box, it's gonna impact the box. Aw, oh, are you kidding me? You can't even get up here. That was a lot of effort for nothing. But it was an experiment. That's this that's this whole episode. <laughs> right, where the hell am I meant to be going? 